All right, guys, hope you're doing well. This is Lewis Rowlands, and I'm a nutritional balancing practitioner. And in this video, we're going to talk about specific organ healing um, because it sort of helps to understand um, what what each organ does. Uh, and when you know what each organ does, then you can figure out what each organ needs in order for it to be healthy and uh, it makes it much more clearer to understand why if you're doing one part of the program not too well that's going to affect a particular organ generally um, which is going to hold back your whole healing uh, process as a whole so we can sort of start off with the liver so the liver is primarily uh, sort of an eliminatory, or eliminatory organ uh, so it basically filters uh, various toxins so in order for the liver to sort of be healthy one of the biggest things that we need to be doing is trying to detoxify the liver and this is where the coffee enemas come in you know things like methylation taking TMG um, liver flushes which is a, you know we realize is a fantastic um, addition to the program that we feel people should be doing more often if they're sort of below 40, 50. Um, and then we could move on to sort of the heart. So what keeps the heart healthy in general? Well, the, what keeps the heart healthy is a little bit of exercise usually. Um, you've got to find a balance because when you're ill and uh, you've got a lot of uh, ailments, in general, the whole body needs to rest in general, including the heart. Um, but doing too much rest and just um, sort of lounging about a little bit too much, although it's very, very important when you need to heal, um, a little bit of exercise uh, keeps the heart healthy. So one of the additions to the program um, that I don't think many people do uh, as much as what they probably should is just a little bit of walking and uh, you know get out in nature and, and, and do some walking um, I've got a couple of dogs so it forces me to get out and uh, you know you're not only helping the heart a little bit uh, low, you know helps to lower cholesterol uh, but you you also get more grounded um, you know you get more oxygenation um, so all that good stuff uh, so then we could move on to sort of the adrenal gland uh, So what keeps the adrenal gland healthy? Well the adrenal gland really does a lot of things But uh, one of the things it does is it prepares us for sort of uh, fight or flight and uh, intense activity and as human beings uh, We should spend the majority of our time uh, sort of rested and calm and then the adrenal glands will switch on when we're doing exercise, you know, doing a bit of exercise or doing. Um, usually, it switches on when we was going out hunting for prey and um, all this sort of stuff. That's when it really sort of comes into its own. Um, so one of the things that you need to do primarily to, to heal the adrenal glands um, is, is is resting it because most people's adrenal glands are just completely burnt out. Uh, because they've been overdoing it on the fight or flight um, running around like many modern humans do uh, you know from 7 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night it'll be non-stop go 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 and it's quite easy for you to realize whether you're in that position uh, because if you slow down and try to rest you get irritable um, you feel guilty um, you need to do stuff all the time and that's generally a good sign that you're in sympathetic dominance which is over use of the sympathetic nervous system so then we can go on to things like the gut so you know what does what does the gut primarily need for good healing well it needs sort of a healthy environment probably is the best um, tool for the gut you know it needs fresh food good nutrients um, a variety of foods uh, to keep the gut flora healthy, um, etc. Kidneys is uh, you know what primarily keeps the kidneys healthy is sort of drinking water. So 
the main point really of this video is just to highlight um, obviously there's many other things that keep a kidneys <laughs> kidneys healthy you know not not being in fear etc uh, etc et but in general if you think about doing the program and let's say you do the program really well but you don't drink much water uh, you, you know you might drink coca-cola or um, even a lot of tea um, but not really much water what you're doing is you put a lot of strain on the kidneys so you're not really going to be moving forward particularly well because one organ is not functioning very well um, let's say you do a lot of detoxification which is you know coffee enemas and doing saunas and you know aiding the liver doing a liver flush well you might be aiding the liver um, but you, you but you're eating poorly so the gut um, is 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 not functioning very well uh, which in turn puts more strain on the liver even though you think that you're doing good things by detoxing um, you could look at the pancreas and what sort of keeps the pancreas healthy well sort of a diet that's not high in sugars and carbohydrates that's generally what keeps the pancreas healthy so um, if you're having foods that are really high in sugars even though you think you might be eating a lot of vegetables but then you go and eat a lot of sugars for whatever reason maybe in the forms of fruit juices um, or other sort of uh, quite refined sugary foods then really what you're doing is you're putting the pancreas under a lot of under a lot of strain so you know a lot of people these days you'll see them on various forums and this that and the other and they'll say yeah you know I do coffee enemas it might be a coffee enema group or it might be a, a juicing group or you know it might be uh, you know various different um, uh, let's let's think uh, veganism group so there's various different things that just kind of focus on one thing so they might be helping a certain area of the body you know like let's just take for example you know veganism um, or vegetarianism that's probably if they was eating sort of really bad foods before and junk foods etc their gut health is probably going to be better than what it was before uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be um, in good health overall because you know I, I see a lot of vegans and vegetarians that will substitute poor quality poorer quality foods um, just to um, not eat meat so what you end up getting is you know you might get some improvements in some areas but other areas end up getting worse and this is where a holistic pro approach comes in and every single part of the program is doing a job um, to help the whole system as a whole you know so the the diet rich in nutrients rich in vegetables is fantastic for remineralizing the body improving gut health you know eating animal protein is extremely important for various forms of zinc and amino acids um, but that's not enough we need the detoxification we need to aid the liver we need to aid the kidneys we need to be doing coffee enemas um, sauna therapy um, things like reflexology they all improve the natural body's detoxification pathways um, suppose we hadn't spoke about the brain the brain's an organ what does the brain need well usually when people are ill the brain needs to calm down a little bit usually it's, it's overactive it's it's, it's um, what we call the body's usually in a sympathetic dominant state so a little bit of mindfulness a little bit of meditation the pulling down exercise is something we try and incorporate into the program um, to help the brain relax and calm down lifestyle we give people specific lifestyle tips which basically tries to get people to rest much 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 more but we also say do a little bit of exercise a little bit of walking uh, you know don't overdo it don't be running around you know doing really intense things but just a little bit of exercise is fantastic you know water we're going to support the kidneys as well as many other things in the body um, you know drinking two to three liters of water um, every single day so that's sort of 
really the core program with an, with with adding sort of supplementation um, onto that and a couple of other things. Um, but we also have a lot of other extras. We call it these accelerators or additional aspects to the program, which compound on top of the core program, which supports the whole body as, as a whole. That's bit, bit, basically the baseline. But we have things like um, liver flushes to help the liver remove gallstones and liver stones, um, hydrogen peroxide baths, which is to do with cleaning up the body and um, you know removing certain STDs and STIs, um, chiropractic work, um, you know certain um, certain exercises and twists for the body and toe twists and ear reflexology. So there's a wide array of different additions that we can add onto the program, but we have the core program as sort of the baseline because that's the basic things that we need to do to support the body as a whole. So hope that video is uh, a little bit informative. Um, if you have any comments, add them in the comment section and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.